The Galaxy S23 Ultra is Samsung's best work in recent times. There's hardly anything to complain about as far as the core features are concerned, such as the display, design, camera, and battery life, and it's by far the best smartphone of 2023. And now it looks like Samsung is striving to make their already great handset even better with a huge software update that puts a lot of emphasis on optimizing the cameras. This update is currently in South Korea but will roll out to the rest of the world in the coming days and has a file size of nearly 1GB. So here are the 9 best improvements Samsung is bringing to the S23 Ultra's camera with this update. First, you see the S23 Ultra has a better camera system than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But when it comes to the shutter speeds, the iPhones are just plain better. Now Samsung is kinda dressing it with changes to its autofocus algorithm. Samsung has lifted a restriction that previously prevented users from taking pictures until autofocus was logged onto the subject. This not only caused a slight delay when pressing the shutter button, but also hindered users from capturing the desired shot. Fortunately, this is no longer an issue and users can now take pictures in the way they choose, even if the subject isn't in focus. However, if you don't want this and want the best picture possible, then you have an option to do that in the settings. Second, the S23 Ultra already has a better ultra-wide camera than the 14 Pro Max and Samsung is now making it even better by bringing more sharpening to its ultra-wide camera in low-light conditions. Samsung has also reduced the flickering issue in low light with ultra wide cameras while using the super steady mode. The camera app now also displays a notice mentioning that super steady mode needs good ambient light for better image quality just like the iPhones. They've also improved the video stabilization when the resolution is set to full HD at 60 frames per second. The camera's low light picture quality is seeing an improvement as well, specifically when you're not using the night mode and speed priority enabled. The algorithm has has been modified to reduce the banding in the sky when photos are taken in less than ideal lighting conditions. They've also updated the gallery app allowing you to immediately delete photos that were just captured and are getting processed. Samsung is also bringing more stability to the camera when the frame has moving subjects thereby letting you capture better and more focused photos and videos. Other improvements include fixing a bug that displays a green line when using the rear camera and fixing an issue where face recognition didn't work after ending a video call using a third-party app. So overall, it's a huge upgrade that will only make the already great handset even better. I'm working on my S23 Ultra review video. I'll wait for this update, test the phone again and let you know. So do consider subscribing for that. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.